The Versace Spring 2018 Ready to Wear show was presented in Milan on September 22nd, 2017. The idea behind the tribute show was uh, my brother. It was the 20 years anniversary of his death. The young generation doesn't know the story of Gianni in fashion. So I thought I would tell them a story of what Gianni represents, what was in his heart, and how in love was with this work. We weren't sure how big it was going to be, and obviously I had no idea how big it was going to be. Like, it was the best show ever. This is a celebration of an icon. I'm Virginia Smith, the fashion director of American Vogue. Spring 2018 was the 20th anniversary of Johnny Versace's death, and Donatella wanted to do a tribute show to him. To see her get into a place to be confident as a designer and emotionally ready to do a show like this was really an incredible thing to experience. This is a celebration of a genius. This is a celebration of an icon. This is a celebration of my brother. The voiceover really felt like a personal message from Donatella to her brother. I am Inês Coutinho, known artistically as Violet. So what I did as part of the Versace Spring Collection was come up with the music and the lyrics for the show. It had to be something that was not just a homage, but also something that was full of love and was very personal. Imagine a world without his risk-taking, his innovative genius, and above all, his allegiance to women. I'm Larry Borelli Person, the archive editor at Vogue.com. It opened in very Gianni 1990s fashion with a group of models. Baroque is the best way to describe Versace's aesthetic. I don't think that the other designer was so passionate about print like Gianni. Redoing his print, I count to one print 23 colors. Today is really not possible to do a print in 23 colors. Our life is your life. It's not an easy journey away from anger, but it's a powerful place. It frees you. And then it went into his collection from Fall 92. Natasha Poli actually wore the exact same look that Naomi had originally worn in that show because I think it was too complicated to reproduce. The only look that I couldn't do was the one of Natasha Poli. It's an haute couture piece. Small stripes, rounded, in organza. I think I like 35,000 of that. And then we saw it together at the time with Gianni and make it a skirt. We realized we need like five, six months just to do the pieces to make the skirt. So I decided to put that for the archive. Here's a Donatella Versace favorite, Taylor Hill. Hi, I'm Taylor Hill and I was a model in this collection. My look was look 23. I wore a trench coat with some really cool black boots with gold buckles on them and a bolo tie. The coat that I wore was from a previous collection from her brother. And, you know, just knowing that was definitely a very special thing to have in your head while you're walking down the runway for Versace. Hi, my name's Guido. I did the hair for the Versace show Spring Summer 18. I got introduced to Donatella and Gianni Versace in the early 90s when I worked on an ad campaign with Richard Avedon. I think the Versace hair look is about an attitude, really, with this show, because there were so many girls and there were so many clothes. It was about keeping the hair very simple. And really what you try to do every season is kind of slightly update the Versace woman. Hi, my name is Pat McGrath and I am a makeup artist. Donatella wanted the skin to be dewy and for them to be glowy, for them to be at their most gorgeous. I just remember that we were looking at iconic Versace looks from the 90s and bringing it kind of more up to date. We continue on to the next section, which is all about pastels. He contrasted the softness of these pastel colors with strong, precise tailoring, as you can see. My name is Caroline Trentini. I've been working with Versace since my very, very beginning. That's when I was, you know, 15, 16 years old. They've been a big, big support for me, you know, throughout my whole career. Donatella, she makes you believe that you belong there, and that's a very special feeling. 
Maya is here in a beautiful pastel dress with a side slit. It has an ampere waist and the detailing is studded black leather, a nod to Gianni Versace's very controversial 1992 collection, Miss s and I'm Maya Nicolas and I was a model at the show. And my favorite part of this look is the choker. Oof, immediately I wore that look, I just felt like the, I got it. I was just walking like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. One of the bright spots of this emotional collection was Donatella's reissue of the butterfly print. Buff robes with a tower around the head. I, I did exactly the same print in both colors, the butterflies, happy. You know, let's give a moment of happiness. This next section features a vitrisor de la mer. That means treasures of the sea. Everything Johnny touched seemed golden. He was a sort of Midas of fashion. And his relationship, I think, to nature, I view as sort of the same as it is to history. More is more in the universe of Versace. My name is Tammy Williams, and I was one of the models a part of the show. I felt powerful, I felt bold. Before the show, I would say a prayer then, being on the runway, I would zone out and just be like, oh, this is my time to shine. I am here. I am here to take over. What was great about the casting is that it was it was wonderful to see like Carolyn Trentini and Doutson and Natasha Poli, who had been such, you know, big Versace girls from the early 2000s. And then they were accompanied by today's it girls of, you know, Bella and Gigi and Kendall. So it was a really fun mix of models. And then we had a Vogue tribute and then the water tribute. The iconic Spring 91 Vogue print actually came as a result of Anna asking Gianni to participate in a CFDA Vogue AIDS research benefit. Here's a supermodel moment of 2020. We have Yasmin, Kaya walking her first show for Versace, Victoria and Mika, similar to those worn by the original supermodels. I gave to Kaya the jumpsuit, all embroidered, wore the cover of Vogue. In one of the cover was Cindy. She started to cry, Kaya. I can't believe you gave me this. I can't believe you gave me this. It, it was so personal, it was so touching. I'm Yasmin Wijnaldum, and I was a model in the Versace Spring Summer 2018 show. This print, it's so iconic. I actually wore this dress in a Vogue cover that I did. Walking as a group for this look, this was my second look, was actually really fun. I've never done that before. We were all kind of nervous though. And I remember before we walked out, me and Victoria had tight dresses, so we couldn't walk as fast as Kaya and Mika. So we were like, guys, don't walk too fast. And it actually looks amazing. The Catholic imagination was really alive in Gianni's work. We see on the back of Maria Carla's jacket, the Madonna and Child. The crosses that we see at the close of the show are quite similar to those from the fall 1997 Couture collection. Gianni was the first designer who did crosses. At that time, Gianni liked Byzantine. Everything was Byzantine. And you find a lot of art Byzantine in the churches in Italy. It was the first time something religious was put on a runway from a designer. Overall, there's definitely a sense of saint and sinner in Versace's work. I think he had a lot of fun with this, although many people were really scandalized. We're still talking about Elizabeth Curley in that safety pin dress. We knew there would be something special for the 20th anniversary, but we had no idea what was in store for us. You're hearing whispers and rumors backstage that Claudia Schiffer, Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, like the greats are somewhere around. When I was backstage, none of the models had any idea that these I iconic supermodels were going to be in the show. It was a surprise for us as well. Jenny, this is for you. I mean, never. Jenny brought, created the supermodel. So what a better finale that try to give the tribute to Jenny to take his supermodel and put her on the runway as a surprise. I mean, it's always amazing reuniting with them because, you know, we grew up as a, you know, almost as family, as sisters. We are united forever in some strange, beautiful way. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. And I could feel the energy of the crowd and the shock and people got up and were like screaming and crying because it was just unbelievable that it, it was quite the reunion and, and it was really amazing to, to be there. If Gianni was alive, he would be so proud for sure. I, we all felt, even if we didn't, we all felt, you know, the Versace spirit, <laughs> definitely. 
you know, it was just like an explosion of of joy and celebration. And I'm absolutely sure that Johnny had a, you know, was part of it, was there in the room with us. It was so emotional. And they, were, they were so happy. It was like, it was a dream. Thank God they did it. Johnny will be happy. If he can see, he's happy.